Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Tucson TS-262. I'm pretty sure it's the 262, so sorry if I get that wrong. I'll obviously put the right one in the title, um, but I think that's the one, because um, I recently did the uh, the first impressions. Not recently, but you know, last week, uh, and that's what I recall. Anyway, this is a Tepe design. Uh, two sun knife and it was loaned to me uh, by OCD for EDC so thank you to Justin and Molly for letting me check out your knives um, they sent me this the Tepe Hornet 2.0 and the uh, Shaman actually in 4V St. Nick's exclusive so I could try the CME on that knife um, so yeah I'm just wrapping these up so I can get these sent back to them so uh, the Tucson TS-262. So what do I think? Well, let's start with aesthetics, right? It's not my bag, really. Uh, I'm not the biggest warny guy, to be honest. I do like the kind of rise on this one, um, but I'm just not a big fan of that kind of hook bill type look to it, right? Um, and then it just has all this freaking handle for such a small blade, it seems like. Um, I don't know what that's all about. It just seems like the handle's way bigger than the actual blade, right? And I guess you're going to get that with a warning, maybe, because of the blade shape. Uh, it is a liner lock, and it is carbon fiber on the scales. And the steel, I believe, is M390. Yes, it is. Tepe Designs, M390. It's going to be hard for you to see. It does also say... 048 i think that's uh the number i think they number these um it's not the model number it's the actual number of the knife you know coming out of factory or whatever um yeah so aesthetically it's not my thing but um i think it's a good looking overall aesthetic if you get what i mean like m390 with a satin grind very well done actually satin grind that carbon fiber looks very nice um and then you have the titanium backspacer and clip which is cool um so yeah but just overall the design isn't my kind of thing so sorry if that makes no sense anyway <laughs> ergonomics so let's get kicking here the ergonomics are good on this knife um it i like a knife that gets thicker as it goes back or stays the same I always say I don't like knives that taper down. This does the opposite. It's thin here and gets thicker here. I like that. It feels like I have a good grip on it. So when we get into the Friday night gas station fight, I have a good grip and you're not taking it from me, right? Um, and then you have a choil. So you could choke up onto this choil. And that's probably the reason why it feels like there's not so much blade to the handle because of that choil. Um, because if that were all blade, it would probably feel normal. I don't know. But uh, you choke up. Feels really good. There's no jimping other than back here, which you're not going to really touch unless, yeah, I guess, in this grip you do. But it's it's barely even. I don't even think the jimping is above the scales. Um, so it's kind of useless, to be honest. But it feels very good in either hand. The clip does not get in the way at all. Again, choil, very good. Um, you do have a saber grind on here. Um, again, I'm not an expert, but I'm told that if it's a full, if it's a flat grind that doesn't start at the top, it's a saber grind. So saber grind it is. It's very thin and very sharp. I will say it cuts very well. I did not do a ton of cutting with it um, just because it's not my knife. Um, but I did a decent bit and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's very good for cardboard, I will say, because uh, you have that warny blade, kind of razor blade style, and then you get really good control up here, and you could just, you know, push through a cut real easy, I think. So um, I really like that. It kind of has a crown spine. I think it might be like a faux crown spine, kind of feels like one, but I'm not sure it actually is, but it feels really good. It looks cool, so um, I want to point that out. Um, it does have these goofy screws under the clip. I think I showed this in my first impressions. I don't know how well you can see those three screws. Um, basically, they're holding in the liner, the lock, 
Um, so it's kind of a unique way to do it. A lot of companies will mount the scale that way. So like take the F5.5, for example, they, the liner, the lock inside is mounted by the clip screws. On this, they decided to put three screws under the clip that the clip, if you look at it from straight ahead, it hides them, which I think is very unique and very interesting. And I think that's pretty, uh, in, uh, I was gonna say intuitive, but I, that's not what I'm going for there. Um, ingenious, okay? I think it's ingenious. Um, yeah, so carry, yeah, you know, it, it's a milled titanium clip on carbon fiber and the clip does not have too much tension so it works really well um you know it's not the deepest knife ever or clip ever but it's very good carries very well no issue would i carry this in my left pocket no one because it doesn't have a reversible clip uh which a, a tucson could so easily incorporate reversible clips but they just never do it um and the detent is really light so i just would not carry this in my left pocket um so yeah it was always in my back left pocket um so i should have said i won't carry it in my front left sorry um so yeah we talked about cutting carry ergos aesthetics so sounds so pretty much what you'd expect from a carbon fiber build here um pretty dull acoustics but not bad or anything it doesn't have a any like metallic sounds because it's again it's mostly carbon fiber it's not titanium scales um so i just give it a five out of ten it's an average sounding knife you know uh, that category is kind of dumb but sometimes it comes in handy um so yeah so let's talk about action right that's kind of my favorite category it has this front flipper here and uh the d10 is very light most likely because of that front flipper. Um, you could easily pop it out like that, but if you just give it the flick, it comes out every time. It is dialed well for a front flipper. I'd say it's dialed really well for the front flipper. Um, the flipper tab, I'll get to that in a second. The flipper tab is very well done. I do wish the jimping was a little bit more uh, grippy. It's pretty light on that um so you know but i guess it works you know it catches you enough to to flip it so um i just never catch it enough to like slam it out you know which is what i like to do uh, that's what she said and then it has this hole so because that d10 is so light it just it's not enjoyable at all to me to flick this it just feels like i'm doing all the work and uh it doesn't it doesn't shoot out it kind of just leaks out and pops up because i'm you know i'm forcing it with my finger where i like a knife that pops you know when that detent pops then that knife is gonna shoot out and pop out right and lock up you don't get that on this knife it works so so for a lot of people you're gonna like this just fine i, I i'm pretty sure justin really likes this knife and you know he's he's not necessarily a snob about detents the way i am um i mean he could be and i i just misunderstood him or not misunderstood him. we didn't talk about it but like you know um it works is what i'm saying so as long as you understand that you need to apply the pressure and shoot it out you're good right but that's not my preference my preference is to have a knife bang out when i flip it i like to have a little bit of a stiffer detent and yes, that is hard when you have a front flipper as well. But uh, I'm a needy son bitch, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, then the other issue I have with the action, well, first, the closing is, I mean, it's it's drop shut, guys. It is, drop to your nail. It's kind of a slow drop, but it, it drops. Um, action is really good on the close. But it has a detent ball ramp, which in most cases is good. But in this case, if you're left-handed, it sucks. Because unless you get past here, right, where it drops, what happens is you get here, and then you go to, like, shake it down, and you end up shaking it up 
um, you know, you're trying to shake down, but before you can get your motion to go down, you end up shaking it up and it locks back up. Uh, it's kind of one of these weird things with detent ball ramps that can go wrong for lefties mainly. Um, for righties, you're always going to have it just drop to your nail pretty much and then you're good to go, right? But even if you get caught, same thing happens. So um, that's just something I've noticed. It's a pet peeve for me on this knife. I can't say 100% that it comes this way. Justin may have added that ramp a little bit because um, it feels like a pretty deep ramp, um, which would be weird for it to come that way. But I think Tucson does do detent ball ramps, so um, I don't want to assume anything here. Um, so it could be either way. There it could be modded and it could be stock. Uh, my guess would be stock, but I can't be sure. Um, but yeah, so what do I think overall? I think it's a cool knife, guys. I think if this is something you're into and you're going to pick one up, you should be happy that you did. Um, unless you really don't like light detents like me. Um, but you ordered a front flipper, so you kind of have to expect it, right? Um, the front flipper works well, though. Uh, so overall, I think it's a cool knife. I think the design is not for me, but is interesting and unique, which I can appreciate. It's definitely uh, one from Tucson that I wouldn't mind having. Usually, I'm not into their designs at all. I, I love the build. I love the build quality. Um, I love the blade. It's nice and thin. It's very slicey. I like the ergonomics. Um, I like the finish on the blade. I like the drop shut action. Um, I like the carbon fiber finish. Titanium backspacer. I love the the kind of intuitive, god damn it, ingenious way of, uh, I don't even know if it's ingenious because honestly they just put screws under a clip, but it's fucking cool, okay? Um, yeah, so overall TS2 62 is a cool knife uh so thank you to justin and molly uh i would venture to guess it's around a hundred dollars 120 bucks if you bought it from like white mountain knives if you got it on ebay you might be able to get it for under 100 um but yeah i love you guys i hope you have a fantastic day and i will catch you later <laughs>